Okay. With that said, what, what, what's the confidence and, and just focus mindset, all those things heading up to Chicago this week? Yeah, we're, we're super confident. Like I said, we got everybody, you know, um, firing all cylinders, really is playing well. Um, we got everybody doing a little bit of a little something. J. Cole made a couple of really big plays last week. Um, so we got everybody playing well. Um, we're just excited. You know, uh, this is what this is what we all played for. This is what we've been, you know, the, the weekend we've been wanting to get to. Um, and then we got two games. You know, we're going to take one at a time. We got two games to get to the final four. And that's what we're focused on. Coach, make good on giving you a couple of days off. No, <laughs> no, we, we got our one, um, but I don't even remember the last time we got two days off to be honest with you. So, uh, but we're all focused and we're ready. We're excited. So we're, we're going to get to work. Um, we're going to, we're going to tighten those things up. CB, uh, speaking of peaking at the right time, the three amigos at the wing um, are long, talented wings. Uh, when you guys are all hitting on all cylinders, you seem unbeatable. Just talk about the three of you together and entering the tournament, uh, you know, playing at the highest level you can. Yeah, I think that the good thing about us three is just we're not really worried about scoring. We're all worried about winning. And I think that goes from, you know, Oach, who's a player of the year finalist. Um, we're all just focused on winning. Uh, nobody nobody really cares about who's scoring. You know, we got a guy like Remy that comes in and basically keeps us in the game in the first half. Um, so, you know, we're just whoever's open is who we want to score. Um, they left DeWan open last week. DeWan, a couple uh, a couple shots down. Um, and we're going to get Dave back rolling again. They, they guarded him pretty tough. Um, but once we get everybody on that same page, and, and we are, I would say, for the most part, mindset-wise, um, once we get everybody on that same page, we're a tough, we're a tough team to beat. Um, and right now, I think we're on that page. Christian, you mentioned Doge I find a player of the year finals. How have you seen him handle just all that extra attention? He's humble. Like, he's humble through everything. He's got an award, it seems like, every day. You know, every day you look on Twitter, there's, an, there's another award for him. Um, and, you know, obviously the biggest one is player of the year that he, you know, that we want him to win. He would never tell you that he wants to win it, but we want him to win it. Um, and we know that by win him winning is just us winning games. So, um, you know, the further we go, the more recognition he gets. Um, and that's that goes for everybody. You know, the, the further we go as a team, you know, the more individual accolades we'll get. Um, so we're excited for him. And, you know, he, he won't ever say it himself or he won't ever talk about it. Um, but he just wants to win. Um, and that's that's what he's focused on. So do you guys bring it up to him, give him a hard time about it at all? Not really, because, you know, like I said, if you don't if you don't check Twitter and look look for his awards, he will never say anything to you. So you'll never know. Um, but, yeah, he doesn't he doesn't talk about himself ever. Um, you know, he'll just send a couple of texts here and there just about, all right, guys, we got to focus up, you know, a couple more games here and there. And he knows what you know, what winning brings for everybody. And that's what he's most excited for. Christian, Bill said over the weekend about Remy, we're a different team with him. What does that mean? to you guys on the court? Uh, I think just his speed uh, gives his different, like the mission, you know, throughout the year we had Juan, um, he's steady. He doesn't turn the ball over. He does his thing and Juan's great at what he does. Um, but when Remy um, comes off the bench, he gives us just an extra spark, you know, extra energy, uh, plays with personality. And he just does a little bit of the things that not a lot of people can bring just naturally who he is um, and his personality. So, you know, just his energy uh, really helps all of us throughout the game. Um, and he's really actually playing really good defense too now. Uh, so when he's doing both those things, scoring on offense, playing playing tough defense, um, like he has been, you know, he's really good for us. And like I said, he kept us in the game at Creighton, um, and all, uh, you know, got us to win and got us to advance. Hey Christian, have you seen much of Providence yet? Yeah, we we've been we've been watching them. Um, you know, they shot the ball really well uh, last game. They're an older team, an experienced team, and uh, they were really successful this year. Um, so we got to really lock in and get to know them better and better over the next few days. Um, but they're a good team. Um, you know, they're in the Sweet 16 for a reason. Uh, so, you know, we got to focus up and, you know, beat them first. What have you seen from their offense just so far? Uh, we went over their flex offense a little bit yesterday. Um, so, you know, they, they, they want a pretty compact, you know, offense. And they're coming off curls, guys shooting it. They got a lot of guys that can knock shots down. They got a tough big man. Um, you know, so they're, they're a great challenge for us. You know, uh, they're going to be a fun team to play against. Um, like I said, they were really successful all year. So, you know, we're excited to get uh, to know more about them. And you talked about the spacing uh, the coaches were emphasizing. What were they saying that uh, that does for you when you are spaced correctly? Well, yeah, we always talk about filling the corners. And um, once we're more spaced out, um, it helps guys like Remy get downhill, Ochai get downhill, and it opens up driving lanes for everybody. Um, and that's just something that we got we to gotta tighten up. And, you know, we're a pretty good offensive team. We're really good in transition. But once we get those little things um, tightened up, we'll be, we'll be really tough to stop because we got speed like, like Remy and guys like DeWan that can create. Uh, once we get all those things, you know, fixed up, we, we should be uh, going pretty well on offense. Christian, your first Sweet 16 game mm -hmm. at KU, what are some of the memorable games you remember growing up as a KU fan, just kind of watching in this tournament? 
Oh man. Um I don't have any specific I, I watch like every KU game. I feel like, you know, I don't I don't remember any specific ones. Um, but just the, the championship run that they made, uh, you know, was probably the most memorable in 08. Uh, I, I was young. I don't know. I was young, but I just remember watching. I had a, we had a babysitter because my parents went to all the games. Uh, so I watched it with my babysitter. Um, so, you know, that was that was really fun for us. And my family was really big KU fans. So there's not really a game specifically that, you know, I remember. But um, I was, you know, probably as big as KU fans you can find. And Tyrell was on that team too. So that, that was another big thing for us. Would you talk about the spacing? I mean, Coach talked a lot about what Creighton's defense tried to do to, to clog that up so there weren't driving lanes, passing lanes, all that stuff. What, what's the best way to counter something like that? Not giving anything away, of course, but what, what do you have to do? Just move the ball. Um, and we, we do a really good job of being unselfish, um, but it's got to be less dribbles. You know, you got to move the ball quick um, so they can't, you know, help and recover. You got to be ready to shoot it, um, stuff like that. It's just stuff that we've been doing, um, but we got to get back to it, um, especially against a team like Creighton. You said played in the gaps. Um, so when you move the ball, it's tough for them to be in those gaps and you can hit open shots and stuff like that. Um, and then, you know, it's going to be hard to guard us when, when Remy's knocking down shots and they're trying to leave DeWan, but DeWan's a good shooter too. So uh, we just got to move the ball against those guys. And whoever's open will take a shot. Any questions from the Zoom for Christian Brown? Yeah, Chris, I got one. Hey, Christian, uh, a lot of teams have talent. Not every team has great chemistry. It seems like this KU team has both. Let's talk kind of about the the way this group gets along and how that benefits you uh, in, in in tough times, even in good times, but chemistry being a positive. I would just say that this team, um, compared to the teams I've been on the past, we have a lot of different personalities. Um, we got a lot of big personalities. Uh, we got a super humble leader that keeps everybody pretty composed and you know talks us through everything. You got a guy like Jalen who's been through a lot this year that just wants to win. Uh, so we got we got a lot of guys that that are really focused on winning. Uh, and then we got a lot of guys that bring a lot of energy, like Remy. Um, and everybody gets along. Everybody has a good time. And we're just having a lot of fun with it, to be honest. Um, we talked a lot about it in the hallway. You know, we're having fun before the game, just stretching, just talking, and stuff like that. And we're like, man, we want to do this again next week. Um, so that was kind of our message going out. We were with um, Coach Ramsey, uh, just stretching and getting ready. And everybody was having a good time. So uh, we, want, we want to do it again. Um, and then we want to make this weekend worth it. And then we want to move on to the next week. And obviously, um, but this team has a lot of fun together. Um, and, you know, we think we're just getting started. Uh, Christian, a uh, question here on your Zoom. Uh, two questions. One, you're playing in Chicago, uh, United Center. That's where Michael Jordan played. The statue's right out front. Uh, well, what did you ever learn, if anything? I mean, I know you're pretty young there, but, you know, if, even watching highlights of Michael Jordan that impressed you the most about him and you, anything you took from him? Uh, you see LeBron dropped a 38-point triple-double <laughs> yesterday. Uh, so I'm a, I'm a big LeBron fan. Uh, I don't know if that, yeah. I don't, I didn't no, that's know. cool. Hey, hey, LeBron over Jordan, that's cool for you. But the other question, I <laughs> I would imagine that be the case. I'd imagine that be the case. But uh, the other question I have for you, what have you learned about your team in close games that makes you realize that you guys can make a run to the final four? Say that again, I didn't hear the second part. What makes you realize about your team in close games? What have you learned about your team in close games that makes you realize you guys can make a run to the final four? Man, we've, we've been through a lot of close games this year. Um, you know, a lot of nerve wracking games a lot of, and that that prepared us. Honestly, like I said, we got Ochai, who's just, you know, pretty, pretty steady, uh, pretty steady through all of it. Um, he talks us through pretty much every moment of the game. Um, it just tells, tells us don't get too high, don't get too low. So, you know, we've been we've been through pretty much every pressure uh, situation you can be in. Um, so I think we're prepared for anything. And honestly, I think all that stuff helps you when you get to this point. Um, we got guys who have been there, you know, kind of done the, done those situations. We got guys that we know we're confident in step up, hit a shot. Everybody's, you know, knocked down a big shot this year at some point. Um, so we got guys that can make plays. We got guys that, you know, have been in those situations. So we're confident in any situation that we're in. If we're down 10, if we're, you know, up 10, we're confident that we can that we can um, get the win. And that that's all that matters. It doesn't matter if it's pretty or if it's ugly. We just want to win. All right. Thanks, CB. 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 Thanks